This is What's More Scary Than a Shark by Paul Bright and Michael Terry. Shark was seriously scary. His eyes were dark and scary, his smile was cold and scary, and his teeth were very, very sharp and scary. If a young fish ever asked his mom, what is the scariest thing in the sea? The answer was always the same. Scary shark! Only lobster wasn't scared of shark. He was far too hard and tough to be a tasty meal. You great toothy yap, said lobster. Leave us alone and pick on someone your own size. And someone shark's own size was coming. As big as shark, as scary as shark, it was another shark. And her name was Sadie. Shark stared at Sadie. His scary eyes went wibbly, his scary smile went wobbly, and his sharp, scary teeth went chitter, chitter, chatter. Lobster, said Shark. Help me, I don't know what to do. I've gone all floppity. I'm in love. Well, what a soppy socks you are, said Lobster. Give her a present, something girly, like a bunch of seaweed. Just one bunch, said Shark. I'll give her all the seaweed in the sea. But if she doesn't like it, goggly eyes, I'll scrunch you crunchy shell and use your claws for toothpicks. Shark raced here and there. He found green seaweed, red seaweed, thin and stringy seaweed, flat and flapping seaweed. He arranged it all into a big, big bunch, then swam nervously towards Sadie. But the bunch of seaweed was so big, he couldn't see anything. He bashed into a rock with a crash, and Sadie didn't notice him at all. The seaweed didn't work, said Shark frantically. What do I do now? Lobster thought hard. What you need, Barnacle Brain, is a pearl, he said. Find her a big, sparkly pearl. Big? Sparkly? said Shark. I'll give her the biggest, sparkliest pearl in the whole ocean. But if she doesn't like it, clunky claws, it's a lobster and a seaweed salad for dinner. Shark searched until he found the biggest oyster with the biggest, sparkliest pearl in the whole ocean. Shark asked for the pearl as politely as a shark can. Give me your pearl or I'll squash you. No, said the oyster. It's mine. So Shark reached in to grab the pearl with his teeth, but the oyster shut her shell with a snap right on his nose. The pearl bit me, said Shark. There must be something else Sadie will like. Something that doesn't bite. Don't panic, snappy snout, said Lobster. Sing her a love song. I know a choir of angelfish who can join in and go boop, boop, de boop and make it really sweet. That's it. The best idea yet, said Shark. Shark started to do some singing exercises. La, 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 la. He sang very loudly. Lo, 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 lo. He sang very softly. Lobster hurried off, then came back with the angelfish. They were very scared of Shark, but did as they were told and swam into position near Sadie. Shark started to sing. You make my heart go bibbly bobbly. And the angelfish joined in so sweetly. Boop, boop, de doop. You make my heart go bibbly bobbly. Then, at last, Sadie turned, and she smiled. Shark gasped with joy and felt his heart going more bibbly bobbly than ever. He sang again, You make my fins go wibbly wobbly. And to his delight, Sadie swam closer and closer, and chop! The angelfish were gone. Bristling barnacles, exclaimed Lobster. What a lovely present, said Sadie. They were delicious. Wow, said Shark. You are the scariest. Will you be my own scary sweetheart? I will, said Sadie. They touched noses, and Shark's heart went all bibbly bibbly bobbly, and Sadie's fins went all wibbly wibbly wobbly. Then they swim off, seriously scary, together. The